Hello, welcome to Modern Paleo Cooking. My name is Wendy Myers, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make healthy modern paleo food so you can survive and thrive to 110. Today we're going to be making ground turkey mushroom marinara over spaghetti squash. It's such a, an amazing dish. I love spaghetti squash so much more than pasta, and it's so much more nutritious. And the ingredients that we need to make this dish are one pound of ground pastured turkey, or you just use organic if that's all you can get where you are. Um, we're going to need our mushrooms, which we need about you know 10 to 20 mushrooms. Um, I chose shiitake and cremini, but you can use any kind of mushrooms. Um, we're gonna need, um, of course, our spaghetti squash that we're gonna roast. Um, then we're going to need our, so a few cloves of garlic. You can use four, I use eight. I like a lot of garlic in my marinara. Um, we're gonna use some onion. Oh, someone already nibbled on that. <laughs> and then we're gonna make it easy. We're just gonna, we're not gonna make marinara from scratch. It's too much trouble. We're just gonna throw in a jar of marinara and dress it up and make her pretty. And then you're going to need, uh, just for garnish, some fresh basil and just put it on top, make it look pretty. And then of course, every Italian's mainstay, olive oil. That's it. Let's get started. So we're all set to make our turkey and mushroom marinara. And the first thing we have to do is make this spaghetti squash and put it in the oven. So this is how you do it. You take a cookie sheet or baking pan, whichever you like, and take your spaghetti squash and you gotta cut this sucker up. These things are hard as a rock. So uh, wish me luck, this one. And you're gonna be uh, heating your oven up to uh, 350 degrees. There we go. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I have a really sharp Japanese knife too. And, uh, these things just do not cooperate. There we go. We're starting to get it. Ugh. Wow, I got it. It's amazing. I was really uh, terrified. Actually, I had a nightmare last night that I cut my finger off while doing the cooking show today. Uh, cutting this spaghetti squash because I know how hard they are. There we go. There we are. Ugh. Okay, and then you gotta scoop out the seeds with a spoon. So just take your your spoon and just spoon it all out as best you can. Okay, so now we have our two halves and we are going to coat them with olive oil just to give them a little, give them a little massage, a little rub down. Just so we, we kind of protect the, um, you know, just the exposed part of the squash. And then of course, you always want to flavor it with salt. And then uh, because we're going to be turning these over, we're going to be turning them face side down. Um, we're going to have to do some fork pricks to release the steam that comes out. Let me get a fork. So I'm going to channel my brother, Michael Myers. So you just got to <laughs> just poke as many holes in it as you can. There we go. Mission accomplished. And so now put it in your oven that's 350 degrees. Uh, oops, I forgot the tag. Uh, just with a little shopping spree at Sir Tab for the cooking show. And we're gonna put our, our little half-baked uh, spaghetti squash into the oven and they'll be done in about 30 to 40 minutes. Now that we have our spaghetti squash in the oven cooking away, we're gonna make the other part of the dish. We're gonna make our ground turkey. And first you start with a skillet on medium-high heat and maybe add a little bit of olive oil just so it doesn't stick. Maybe just a, a tablespoon or two. And I need my happy face spatula. Here it is. And so we're going to, see it's so happy, it makes me happy. And so we're gonna coat the pan with olive oil and that's our oven cooking, our spaghetti squash. And then you're just going to kind of um, uh, put this in the pan, kind of, you know, make it so it's not one big gigantic chunk. And then you're going to cook it for about five minutes. You want it brown so that there's no more pink left. Um, but you don't need to overcook it. It'll cook a little bit more in the marinara that we're gonna make in a second, or our jar of marinara that we're gonna fancy up. And so just let that cook, like I said, for about five minutes. Put it in the pan and just leave it there. You wanna let it brown on one side, and then we're gonna turn it over, let it brown on the other side, and then kind of 
break it up and then it'll be done. So now our meat has browned a little bit and I'm just kind of hacking away at it like a, you know, like my brother Michael Myers and uh, making, you know, little pieces of it. Uh, but you can also choose to make little meatballs. You can just, you know, roll up the little meatballs and cook them in the, in the pan that way if you prefer and just continue turning them until they're brown on the outside. Um, or if you just want, you know, a ground turkey, kind of a bolognese uh, to go with your marinara then just um, hack away at it until you have lots of little tidbits of turkey. And then your turkey should look about like this when you're finished. Um, you just want to hack up all the, the bigger pieces and make sure there's no pink inside. And voila, we're done. So now we're going to set this aside and cook our mushrooms. And then at the end, everything's going to go in the big pot with the marinara. Now we're set to make our mushrooms. You're going to need a big pan. Uh, because the mushrooms take up a lot of room. So first we're gonna put in our olive oil, about two tablespoons. Uh, the mushrooms take up, they soak up a lot of oil, so you'll probably have to continue, be continuing to add oil to the mushrooms as they cook. Um, so we are going to you know, coat our pan, bottom of our pan with that, and then add our pretty little mushrooms all sliced up. And these will take a little while to cook down. Um, just, you know, put them all kind of flat edge in the pan and let them cook like this for a few minutes and then kind of, you know, turn them over and let them cook on the other side and add olive oil to them as they soak it up so we don't want them sticking to the pan. Our mushrooms have cooked for about five minutes and you can see they're kind of nice and caramelized and golden brown and oh, one of our mushrooms went AWOL and uh, I had to add lots of olive oil to it because uh, the mushrooms definitely, they just soak up that oil really well. So now that these are done and they're well cooked, we're going to set these aside and make our marinara. So we're going to get our pot here and you're going to put this on that medium heat. Let that heat up. And then we are going to add again more olive oil, lots of oil in this dish. Coat it nicely with some olive oil. Don't be shy with the olive oil. Can never get enough olive oil, right? And I'm using unfiltered olive oil. Probably good if I turn the burner on on the actual pot that I'm cooking. <laughs> um, I think I would have figured it out by now, but I, I can't seem to figure it out. And so we, I am using unfiltered olive oil. Um, unfiltered olive oil has twice the antioxidant value of filtered olive oil. And it's not going to be as clear uh, as a filtered olive oil. It's going to be a little bit cloudy. But you want that, those are the antioxidants. And you want your olive oil to be nice and green. Unfortunately, um, my husband picked this up for me because he's so sweet. But you do not want your olive oil in clear bottles because all oils go rancid when they're exposed to heat and light. So you always want your olive oil in a dark bottle, any kind of oil you buy in a dark bottle to protect it, protect the antioxidant value. Whole Foods is a wonderful, um, inexpensive, dark bottle, unfiltered, organic olive oil that I recommend. And so now that our oil is heated up, we're gonna add our onions, and we're gonna caramelize them a little bit so they have a little bit more flavor. So add those. You're gonna to have to cook them for about five minutes uh, to get them, you want to cook them until they're translucent. And then we're gonna add in our garlic for about a minute. You don't wanna, uh, just only wanna cook the garlic for one minute because you'll, you'll get kind of a burnt taste and we don't want that, we just want some fresh garlic flavor. And let me get a spatula. This one's a little too short. So um, I'm risking life and limb here. I'm gonna get, getting kind of burned. <laughs> so we're gonna let that cook for a little bit and then we're gonna add our garlic and then we're gonna add our jar of mushroom or two jars if you prefer. And then we're gonna add our mushrooms that we cook and add our turkey. And that's it, it's so easy. Now we have cooked our onions. They're nice and translucent, ready to go. So we're gonna add our garlic. Um, the recipe calls for four cloves of garlic. Um, I love garlic, so I chopped up eight cloves because I love garlic bread. So we're gonna put that in and cook it for just a minute. Make sure you stir it around so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and burn like it's doing right now. <laughs> So just toss that around for about a minute, and then we are going to add our, we're gonna add our sauce to it. 
So just add your sauce in there. Oh. And then we're gonna add our, we're just gonna heat everything up together and it'll be done to pour over the spaghetti sauce. So grab your, your mushrooms. Mm, that smells so good. And then these pans are really heavy. <laughs> ah, I'm like spreading my wrist. Okay, and then we're gonna add our turkey. And then just mix it all up, and that is it. And like I said, add a, a second jar of marinara if you want to um, make it, a, make it uh, you know, more, more saucy. In fact, Laren, could you hand me that jar of sauce right there? Sure. Laren's our lovely director. So we're going to take our cheap old ragu and ruin the dish, but it's okay. You won't taste it because of all of our fine ingredients that we added to it. And uh, that's it. Yeah, this definitely needs two jars. And that is how you make your marinara. It's so easy. Hello, everyone. We're back. And look, we have a cameo appearance from Winter, my daughter. Isn't she cute? My smiley face. Yeah, she's making a smiley face. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Winter just turned four and that she's gonna help me finish our dish. So Winter, stay right here. Our spaghetti squash is done, and I'm gonna go grab it right now. Yes, with a smiley face. Mommy's gonna get the spaghetti squash. Here we go. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so now we are ready to start scooping. Um, basically, you take your your spaghetti squash half, it's nice and steaming right there. And you just scoop it out into your dish. That's all you do. And that makes uh, these little spaghetti strands you can see. And they're nice and crunchy and flavorful and nutritious as well. And hot, very hot. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna try to scoop the rest of this out without burning myself. Winter, look, mommy's scooping. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Oh, um, but I am burning myself, so I'm gonna set it down and scoop. Scoop away. You wanna help me scoop, Winter? Okay. Okay? Let's you wanna try some? Um, nope. Nope, why not? I wanna make smiley face pizza. You, oh, you wanna make smiley face pizza? Gluten-free smiley face pizza. That's what we're gonna make later. So right now we are winter. We are making spaghetti squash, and we are scooping out our little squashes. Ow. Okay. And now winter, you want to do the honors? We are going to ladle our yummy tomato sauce. Mmm. Smell that winter. What do you think? Smells good? You think it smells good? Yeah. Okay, now you take your ladle and then put it over the spaghetti squash like that. Mmm, ooh, yes. Perfect. Very good, Winter. Thank you. And we're all done now. No, we're all done. No more. Thank you. We need just a little bit more. And that is how you make our turkey and mushroom marinara with spaghetti squash uh, spaghetti. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Modern, Modern Paleo Cooking. My name is Wendy Myers, and this is my daughter, Winter. Thank you, Winter. Thank you for helping. Say bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>